first moment here with you. Um, our subject today is to talk about uh, concentrated solar power for uh, uh, different desalination uh, plants um, and uh, for uh, water desalination and uh, power generation. Okay. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your folder, open, open your MATLAB and uh, go to your drive, your folder, okay? And this is my folder, so I, I am here, okay? You could set the solar power for uh, MED, multi-stage flash, and reverse osmosis and power, okay? And then you, you can uh, click on, on this one, uh, sort by name and group by type. Okay, you have to do this every time. Okay, um, uh, we have uh, two models. Okay, uh, this is uh, for MED only for MED and uh, reverse osmosis and uh, concentrated solar type. But I, I do refer to work on uh, version number two. Double clicking. Okay, this is our model. This is our cycle. We have solar power, concentrated solar power. Uh, it's a, a solar tower, of course, with. Um, with two storage elements, uh, molten salt uh, heat transfer fluid. Uh, in our model, we, we reformed it in order to be able to uh, operate concentrated solar uh, uh, parabolic trough collector and I'm sorry, parabolic trough collector and uh, solar tower uh, technology. So you have two options. You can choose between uh, uh, going with uh, a parabolic trough solar field and uh, solar tower. Of course, if you are going to deal with the uh, parabolic trough solar field, you have to consider uh, the, the higher uh, or uh, temperature limitations uh, uh, for solar uh, field. I, I mean, for uh, parabolic trough collector, there is no uh, possibility to go over uh, uh, with molten salt to go over. Uh, 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 450 degrees Celsius or 500 degrees Celsius, and for so, so for solar tower you have you can go up to uh, 550 or 600 degrees Celsius. We have two storage uh, elements. We have uh, cold storage and we have hot storage, and we have boiler heat exchanger or evaporator or steam generation. This is responsible for steam generation to the turbine unit. Okay. And we have exhaust stream from the turbine unit is responsible for uh, thermal power uh, via uh, thermal desalination plants. So we have here, you have uh, uh, possibility to choose between multi-effect dis uh, distillation and uh, multi-stage flash. Of course, we have to consider uh, the output stream um, or steam condensation temperature. Because for MED, it is recommended to work on um, not over uh, 80 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Celsius because of uh, corrosion effects through the uh, uh, multi effect distillation tubes. And for uh, multi for brine heater or for multi stage flash, you have you can go up to uh, 113, 115, 120 degrees Celsius. And uh, the power load from uh, turbine unit, uh, uh, its responsibility from um, uh, two types of, uh, of loads. Uh, we have load you can assign, it's load you can assign by yourself, it's for uh, main grid or for uh, what is what is the type of facility? It's up to you. And um, uh, the other load type is from reverse osmosis. And in reverse osmosis itself, we have three main configurations. We have uh, uh, a basic module uh, or basic type, and we have built to wheel drive, and we have a pressure exchanger. So you can choose uh, uh, three types of, of uh, reverse osmosis, two types of thermal desalination plants, and two types of uh, concentrated uh, solar power. Is, is it a parabolic trough collector or co uh, concentrated solar top? It's a huge model, you have to concentrate with me. And uh, let's begin for uh, doing uh, our inputs and so on. Yes, let's have a look on inside. Let's get, get ourselves inside. Oh, as you can see here, uh, this is the main power plant, okay, so, uh, concentrated solar, uh, parabolic trough or solar tower, okay, 
and we have here uh, two storage element uh, hot storage and cold storage and we have boiler heat exchanger turbine unit and um, AMED and we have bombing unit for the steam cycle and we have two uh, uh, integrated bombs for one for cold storage and uh, one for uh, hot storage we have two bombs included uh, inside uh, the block model of uh, uh, of uh, this uh, type of modeling so and we have performance block and cost block uh, if you intended to uh, discover what is your uh, levelized cost and so on okay let's go inside and trying to adjust our uh, menu okay for cinema desalination you can assign uh, uh, for design design aspects you can assign uh, cinema productivity whatever uh, going through MED or multi flash you can assign cinema productivity and you can assign uh, uh, a reverse smooth productivity and, and be sure to uh, review our videos about individual uh, uh, dissonance plans uh, reverse osmosis or multi stage flash or multi -fix. how can we assign our inputs or how can we extract our data because um, it is not um, a simple model and we have the load you can assign your load okay and um, these three parts uh, I'm sorry I will emphasize control plus you will emphasize this okay uh, for uh, cinema plans, cinema sensor plans, uh, uh, if is it uh, MED or uh, multi stage flash, uh, the results of this one of this type of uh, configuration will calculate uh, uh, the, the steam mass flow rate. Okay, so there is two effects on the steam turbine unit. Uh, you have to calculate uh, the productivity or assigning your productivity from the thermal part will give you uh, the results of a steam a mass flow rate through the steam cycle okay and if you go through a, a reverse osmosis uh, productivity or power loop productivity you are going to as you calculate uh, uh, the power so if you go inside here let's go for uh, uh, um, I have to go here a turbine unit if you're going here by the way you can double clicking on any block of you you would like and you can copy your code it's easy you can copy your code okay right click and copy okay and use this code with its caption its caption is ready for you so you can you will find it easy uh, every single step uh, has its uh, caption, so there is no confusion at all. But take, take, take care of that. Uh, the outlet condition of uh, HT out, it's uh, insulby of turbine outlet. Outlet turbine insulby parameter uh, should be calculated by the knowing of uh, uh, turbine power and uh, um, steam uh, uh, ranking cycle mass flow rate and steam ranking cycle mass flow rate is it should be calculated from a uh, thermal dissonation part and the power uh, of the turbine unit should be calculated by uh, reverse osmosis or the load you can or you, you you will assign therefore you have to put your eye on dryness fraction uh, because this is your cushion uh, this is your cushion, dryness fraction, or outlet temperature because it's uh, it is not um, acceptable at all to decrease your uh, uh, because the system will continue calculating um, will continue calculate your uh, results. So it is not acceptable to to drive out uh, temperature of the steam, okay? And um, the top steam because this temperature is the steam input to the MED or MSF. For in, in case of MED, it should be not lower than uh, 80 degrees or 70 degrees or 65 degrees Celsius as a top steam temperature. Because lower steam in turbine unit, lower steam temperature in turbine unit is the top steam uh, in your desalination part. It is as you can see here this is input to the desalination part 
in case of uh, let's head back again to the turbine okay uh, if in case of using multi-stage flash uh, sure uh, top steam temperature not less than 115 113 it's up to your um, uh, conditions therefore it is not acceptable at all to go down below this uh, temperature you have to consider this by the meaning of your uh, uh, experience or engineering uh, 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 sensitivity okay and uh, sure drainage factor should be one below one no more than one okay uh, this is your uh, so therefore you can uh, going to uh, block by block here as you can see here you can serve your models going inside your blocks and you can double click uh, on any block you would like this bumping for example this is your bump bumping code and you can copy code and use it in your uh, research work and report, reports and so on okay let's hit back again and double clicking okay okay um, so we have three parameters to control we have thermal productivity reverse osmosis productivity and power load uh, uh, you have to assign okay and remember that the productivity through the reverse osmosis will, will generate power uh, load on your uh, uh, turbine unit. That's quite um, important. And um, uh, by the way, you have to consider going through the um, uh, reverse osmosis. I'm sorry, reverse osmosis. We have three: basic module, built wheel turbine, uh, built wheel drive turbine, and uh, as a energy recovery devices. And we have. Uh, pressure exchanger suppose I'm going for uh, reverse osmosis if you assign your productivity you had you have to consider your pressure so you have to study well what is your optimum pressure uh, for your uh, uh, reverse osmosis because this is your load on uh, on uh, turbine unit by experience uh, uh, it is not recommended to go to go up more than uh, uh, 68 bar or 70 or 80 bars that's enough uh, and uh, for seawater desalination and not uh, uh, not allowable to go below uh, uh, 40 bars okay uh, of course this is depending on your what is your membrane type and what is your experience in in, in that field okay let's hit back again i'm sorry because it's um, uh, Okay, we have to assign some operating conditions. What is your ambient temperature? Okay, what is your solar radiation? What is your uh, outlet uh, temperature from the solar field? It should be greater than uh, uh, inlet temperature. Okay, this is your um, outlet temperature. I, I will uh, fix it at 400, 450, because I will uh, consider the lower technology, it's a parabolic trough, and ensure the considered solar tower can control and go through uh, uh, this uh, temperature. Turbine air temperature, you can uh, uh, consider your uh, dry saturated air uh, uh, temperature. And we have to assign superheat temperature if you intended to go up and up and adjust your uh, dryness fraction. Okay, but be sure that superheat temperature is greater than uh, outlet temperature of the solar field and uh, inlet turbine temperature. Of course, this is this temperature is coming from solar field. This temperature is coming from solar field too. Okay. But it, it's up, it's more greater than the dry temperature, okay, dry saturated temperature. And we have con condensed steam temperature. What is your condensed steam temperature, okay, that you have to uh, consider? Because this temperature, it's um, uh, the lower temperature coming from uh, the first effect of, in case of MED, or... Um, 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 coming from uh, the brine heater in case of use, uh, uh, in case of using as uh, a multi-stage uh, flash. Okay. Based on this uh, assignment and uh, inputs, I am uh, I will control minus. Okay. By the way, if you if you would like to change the limitations, and suppose this is from 0.5 uh, meter cube per day up to 20,000 meter cube day. Suppose I need to increase or decrease this number, 
Uh, by the way, you can uh, uh, just one click on your mother block here, okay? One click here and right click and uh, going through, uh, uh, let's go for mask, okay, mask, or control M, okay, and edit mask. So I am here in edit mask, going to parameters and emphasize. And we have here, you can control your, suppose this is ambient temperature, so you can, if is it a slider here, as you can see, or slider, you can go in here for, you can go here for the slider, and we have here maximum, minimum and maximum, so it can change uh, the limit, upper and lower limitations to the slider. As you can see here for productivity, you can change this, you can edit, you can remove, you can suppose it's uh, three thousands okay hit apply and hit okay and uh, if you double click here you will find it uh, the limitation uh, has it changed okay uh, limitation have it changed so i i have to go here going again to mask edit mask i, I will repeat it again okay and going to thermal desolation plans i will return it back to twenty thousands meter cube per day in order to uh, see what we uh, we can do okay um, uh, another thing that you can uh, set your simulation time into infinity or uh, zero time domain so suppose I just need one uh, one point calculations there is a fo entire for loop here this entire for loop okay so the system is uh, is, uh, uh, is solving itself and this is your for loop okay okay for loop block don't move this one okay so let's begin for uh, one run for um, uh, for zero time domain and one run for infinity but before going you have to assign individuals um, let's begin from solar field I, I'm beginning from the solar field you can choose between a concentrated solar tower or parabolic uh, traffic collector so I and you can compare runs if you would like I will show you how to compare your runs and uh, for parabolic traffic solar field I will apply this one and for uh, hot storage you can apply just how many hours you are going to operate storage diameter and bumping efficiency inside the, solar to, uh, uh, the storage element and the same for the cold one okay and we need to adjust uh, 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 total pressure losses if you would like uh, by your uh, engineering experience going to uh, evaporator okay how many uh, hours okay because this is your load on uh, using hours it's responsible for um, uh, calculating cost or thermal economic analysis or something like this and your effectiveness what is your evaporator effectiveness so you can adjust this one and this will control output temperature uh, going to the pump okay and uh, minor losses parameter you can and some what is your tubes you are going to use shield diameter of the evaporator what is your shield diameter it's a design you can design your model uh, let's go for uh, bumping unit what is your operating goals and uh, bumping efficiency you can control bumping efficiency and for turbine unit, just to need operating hours. For MED, for, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, let's go for reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis, you can choose between three. Uh, build to wheel drive or pressure exchanger or basic with you. I'll go for basic with you. And ambient temperature, what's your ambient temperature? Uh, sea water temperature. Uh, salinity. Uh, uh, salinity, 65 this is 35 uh, means uh, 35,000 ppm okay because it's um, i will consider a seawater operation and um, we have um, a membrane type you can choose your membrane type okay number of elements per each pressure vessels no more than seven number of pressure vessels uh, uh, by by, uh, by my experience because uh, your uh, I'm sorry, your uh, productivity is 6,000, uh, for 6,000, I think, uh, I think, I'm sorry, 6,000, I think, uh, 40, 45, 
up to 60 uh, pressure vessels uh, is quite uh, normal for this one okay or let it be 50 uh, pressure vessels okay and we have uh, uh, high pressure bomb uh, efficiency recovery ratio from I think for seawater it is no more than 75 okay because increasing this would, would uh, decrease the pressure or load uh, you have to refer to my uh, video about reverse osmosis okay in case of using pet to wheel drive you have to assign this and you have to assign this for pressure exchanger and uh, uh, you have to refer to my videos about uh, pet to wheel drive or pressure exchanger there is no uh, uh, way to talk about this today okay and uh, for MED or MSF, you can choose between multi-effect uh, distillation or multi um, uh, or MED. Suppose I'm going for multi-effect distillation or a multi-stage flash. I'm sorry. And uh, let's go inside. This is cost analysis. You can choose. You can assign what is your capital costs, uh, specific labor cost, power, specific electric cost, and. Uh, for membranes, what is your membrane uh, purchase cost and annual replacement? Okay, uh, this number is it, it's from uh, uh, scientific references, and uh, you can sure you can select and study and make your research by you. It's up to you. But I, I adjusted this, this these numbers because this is my experience and my work, and this is nearly optimized numbers. And you can, what is your interest rate, load factor, and uh, plant lifetime. Okay, and this is your performance block, no assigning here, okay. There's no need for assigning this one. Okay, uh, you can go for solar field, uh, as you can see here, you can assign uh, some inputs too. Uh, what is your operating up for so solar tower, what is your absorptivity or absorber cavity, uh, what is your mirror type? Uh, is it third generation or fourth generation? It's up to you. Uh, or cost? What is your mirror cost? Okay. Uh, around. And we have here parabolic trough, solar field. What is your hydraulic uh, field? Because this um, this mass hydraulic field or hydraulic mass flow rate is, is responsible for loops. If you increase this number, you will reduce uh, the number of loops. It's up to your design. What is your collector weights, uh, lens, uh, tubes, uh, and glass envelope? Because it's a uh, uh, part of it's completely different from this one. Let's go for uh, desalination. We have two types. We have um, uh, uh, MED. For MED, as you can see here, we have uh, seawater temperature, LH water temperature. Brine blue down. What is your brine blue down from here? Uh, okay. Uh, what is your uh, brain blue down temperature salinity what is your salinity in uh, g uh, gram or, or I'm sorry kilogram and uh, in the condenser tubes diameter condenser shell diameter because we have it this is barely feet so we have in the condenser and number of effect you can choose number of effect as a matrix from one up to uh, you can choose one up to eight one up to uh, ten I will choose one, one up to four, one up to two, it's up to you. Uh, but remember, increasing number of effect will uh, um, the enhancement uh, the system uh, performance because, because it will decrease the steam mass flow rate. So decreasing mass flow rates means decreasing the load on uh, steam uh, on uh, solar uh, fields. And other some uh, there is performance. What is your efficiencies? As you can see, if bomb is efficient in the condenser effectiveness, because we have for bombing efficiency, we have three bombs: seawater and brine and, uh, and distillate. The same for uh, for in multi-stage flash, but in multi-stage flash we have uh, we have to, um, brine heater. As you can see here, this is your brine heater. What is your uh, flow velocity? You can use it for pressure losses. And for multi-stage flash, we can assign also uh, what is your uh, seawater temperature. Let it be 20 degrees Celsius. What is top brine temperature? No more than 100 and, uh, 100 and, 
115, 120, that's, that's for sure. But uh, I increase the limitation in order to, if you intended to uh, study more and more. And uh, last stage, brine temperature, I was take myself was normally it's around 40, 45. Uh, see water salinity, suppose it's uh, uh, for the same source, suppose it's 35. Uh, 35, it's Mediterranean salinity. And brine, uh, blue down salinity, okay. Uh, what is your, this is brine recycle, so we have to, to um, consider our splitter unit here. So what is your uh, splitter uh, ratio? Uh, this number is quite normal in my research. Um, total number of stages. We have seven stages heat recovery and three stage, stages for heat rejection. Sure, you can change, you can study, it's up to you. But I load vapor velocity uh, uh, with friction. Uh, heat recovery tubes diameters uh, if bumps efficiency we have we have four bumps we have four bumps and um, cost power if you did to study your cost okay let's go for uh, reverse osmosis as you can see we uh, we do see this before okay and uh, this is a uh, I main block four you can serve your blocks by the use of this side menu is quite important. This is solar field. You can study all things uh, through the solar field. What is your outer pressure, uh, silver cavity temperature, uh, uh, what is your areas, what is your design parameters, and so on. Uh, what is your uh, 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 parameter of solar field area, pressure, exergy, uh, hourly cost, and so on. It's and the same for storage, evaporator unit, okay, what is your number of tubes, uh, area, load, thermal load, power, and the same for turbine unit, okay. Okay, I will hit run for, for this video, I, I will consider it just part one, okay, and we can make another video related to this one, okay, this is part one, I will just run one run, make one run, and see, uh, based on my specification, specifications um, what is my results that should be okay I'm waiting okay uh, let's go here and see uh, our results first of all you have to go to turbine unit okay this is quite normal as a steam input to the brine heater okay and you, surely you can change this and you can uh, uh, um, reduce the power or reduce uh, reduce the thermal uh, productivity from the uh, as you, I showed you from here you can uh, reduce the productivity and see the effect on uh, the outer temperature or you can uh, change the temperature all of this parameter can change the outlet temperature uh, uh, conditions from the turbine unit dryness fraction you can surely decrease this you can surely decrease this by controlling your but it, it's it's nearly one 1.04 or 1.05 nearly one you can consider this results this is your uh, total power this is your total power on the turbine unit because uh, uh, don't forget that we consider all bumps all bumps load as you can see here this is main grid power okay this is the load from the main grid as you, if you go here this is your inputs i need this i need this I need uh, two, uh, 2 megawatt, 2.5 or 2.6 megawatts from the main grid, okay? And uh, we have bumping from the uh, cold storage, bumping from steam ranking cycle bump, main steam ranking cycle bump, and bump from uh, 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 um, a reverse osmosis power, this is bump from reverse osmosis, and bump from hot storage okay and this bump from uh, 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 desalination bumps is db means desalinations so uh, let's go for um, a solar which there is no solution for uh, uh, tower because we uh, selected purple trough but this is your purple trough it's uh, uh, molten salt so we have pressure uh, outlet in salby collector area Thermal lens, total thermal lens, uh, number of loops, 
uh, number of solar fields, number of pressure, efficiency, irreversibility, energy, uh, and hourly costs. Okay, let's go for hot storage. You can also see what is your volume, what is your uh, total height, what is your t uh, uh, temperature outlet, and so on. Uh, uh, by the way, this is in salvi of molten salt, uh, hot out. Okay. And if you go for the cold storage, it's, it's in salvi of molten salt, cold out. Um, this is out the stream from the uh, uh, ohm is out, okay? For evaporator, you can, what is your similar load, okay? Uh, what is your in salvi of the vapor? This is in salvi outlet from going to the turbine unit, okay? And this is your turbine unit and desalination, okay? Uh, let's go for multi MED. There is no solution for MED because we have we've chosen uh, uh, multi stage filler. So if you go inside, this is uh, effect by effect temperature, brine, uh, brine, um, uh, lost profile, distal profile, uh, salinity profile, temperature profile. Uh, this is your first three stages heat rejection, okay, uh, profile. Okay, and feed. This is the first stage uh, feed temperature. It's increased from 25, and this is the first stage up to 26, going up to. Uh, and we have what is your gate height, prime pool temperature, uh, thermoeconomic energy, and so on. And uh, for brine heater, what is your A? What is your pressure? If uh, and uh, effectiveness quite low. You have to adjust your temperature. Uh, bombing temperatures, this is your bombing, steam rocket cycle bombing power. Okay, reverse osmosis, we choose uh, the first one. 61 bar, quite normal. So for 6,000 uh, meter cube per day, we need just uh, 1.6 uh, megawatts. And cost calculations, this is your desalination part hourly cost. This is your total hourly cost. This is a unit product cost from uh, uh, reverse osmosis, and this is unit product cost from MED or MSF. It's up to your uh, operation, and total water price. What is your total water water price? You have to you have to sell. Uh, this is the price of your water. You have to sell, considering reverse osmosis and uh, uh, desalination, okay, and uh, chemical feed costs and. Uh, uh, organization factor, okay. Um, suppose I'm just another one run with multi effect and double clicking here. Let's go for turbine unit, and you can realize the difference on your output temperature. I'm just checking, okay. One, 112 degrees, so we can you have to ch decrease this one. You can decrease this one. It's um, uh, you can decrease this one. I suppose I'm going here. Okay, double clicking. Suppose I am going to increase uh, uh, the power load. Suppose I will uh, increase a little bit. Six thousand uh, five hundred. Let it be. I'm sorry. I will increase uh, the load power, okay, um, or decrease. Suppose it's 2,000 megawatts power I need. I'm just uh, at uh, mega trial in order to decrease this one. No, no it increased. I have to. I'm sorry. You have, you have to increase the power load. It's 3,000 or 2,000. 800 uh, mega uh, to the uh, kilowatts. Let's go for turbine unit and see uh, our results. It should be decreased a little bit. Yes, it's decreased. Yeah, and you can decrease more and more. Okay, you can decrease also this by by um, increasing the productivity of uh, reverse osmosis. Uh, suppose it's uh, six. 1500 and let's go and inspect our turbine unit and the dryness fraction quite normal here yes 
a quite normal for MED and quite normal for dryness fraction and the system is uh, working smoothly and uh, um, the next video I will show you how to extract your outputs how to uh, deal with your uh, uh, dynamic modeling how to uh, deal with your uh, uh, your results and uh, you can this are your outputs too I, I will show you how to deal with this uh, I'm sorry you can go here and um, yes this is for MED number of effect you I will show you how to extract your outputs and uh, in uh, the next video and uh, how to draw draw out your results uh, uh, also uh, finally I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to uh, like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much